can't room She sits alone Pen and paper Her thoughts are known Writing to the girl she'll someday be A future fill of dreams she's yet to see Letters to tomorrow Stories from today Heartfelt words to guide her on the way Through the highs and lows she'll find her life In the letters to tomorrow She'll find her fly oh, Dreams and hopes there in the pages she confides her care first love lost in tears she shed heartbreaks lessons in e are red letters to tomorrow stories from today heartfelt words to guide Highs and lows, she'll find her life in the letters to tomorrow. She'll find her fire. Friendships warm and family ties. Big decisions, fears she hides. Milestones past, she writes them down. A journey told and work profound. Now she writes the final page. For the next, she turns the stage With the letters in her hand She sees her growth, she understands Letters to tomorrow Stories from today Heartfelt words to guide her Highs and lows, she'll find her life in the letters to tomorrow. She'll find her fine. Reflecting on the girl she was and the woman she'll become. Because in the letters to tomorrow, she'll find her strength. A legacy of love at last. Golden light bathed the fields in a warm glow. A new day. But for Clara, each dawn felt heavy, 
burdened with unspoken words and a promise she made to herself. The air, sweet with the scent of freshly tilled earth, did little to ease the tightness in her chest. I can't live his dream, she whispered to the wind, her voice lost in the vastness of the fields. She looked at the vast fields, her legacy, her family's legacy, and felt a familiar pang of guilt. It was her turn to carry the torch, to continue the tradition, but the thought felt like a stone in her stomach. Clara glanced at her father, his weathered face etched with years of toil and dedication to their farm. He moved with a quiet strength, his calloused hands expertly guiding the plough. He never spoke of his expectations, but they hung in the air between them, heavy and suffocating. Clara knew what he saw when he looked at her, the next generation, ready to take the reins. What he didn't see was the silent scream in her heart, the yearning for something more. As she worked beside him, their movement synchronised through years of shared labour. A single thought echoed in her mind. The promise she made to herself felt both terrifying and exhilarating, like a lifeline in a stormy sea. The silence between Clara and her father stretched, punctuated only by the rustle of wheat stalks swaying in the morning breeze. It wasn't an uncomfortable silence, not exactly. It was the silence of shared history, of unspoken understanding and unspoken expectations. Yet beneath the surface, Clara felt a current of unease. He ploughed the land with quiet strength, his brow furrowed in concentration. They worked in tandem, their movements as familiar as breathing. Clara followed, her hands scattering seeds with practised ease. Each seed felt like a tiny seed of rebellion taking root in her soul. She snuck glances at her father, searching for a sign, a shift in his demeanour that might betray his thoughts. But his face remained an unreadable mask, etched with the harsh beauty of the earth he worked. Every furrow he carved into the land felt like a line drawn between them, a reminder of the growing distance between their dreams. Clara's own dreams felt fragile, like seedlings struggling to break free from the weight of expectations. Later that evening, as the sky blazed with the fiery hues of sunset, Clara sat at her desk, a worn notebook open before her. The page was blank, stark white against the dark wood, mirroring the turmoil in her heart. She picked up her pen, the ink flowing like tears she couldn't cry. Dear Father, she began, each word a betrayal of the silent pact that bound them. She wrote of the dreams that blossomed in her heart, dreams that couldn't be contained by the boundaries of their farm. She wrote of her yearning to paint, to capture the world in colours as vibrant and alive as the sunsets that painted the sky each night. Words poured onto the page, a torrent of emotions she kept hidden behind a mask of duty and obedience, but with each sentence a fresh wave of guilt washed over her. Could she really shatter her father's dreams to pursue her own? The weight of his unspoken expectations pressed down on her, threatening to suffocate the fragile hope that had taken root in her heart. With a trembling hand she closed the notebook, the unsent words a testament to the impossible choice she faced. The next day, Clara found herself drawn to the attic. Amidst the dusty trunks and forgotten relics, she unearthed a treasure, a wooden box filled with her mother's old art supplies. She ran her fingers over the worn brushes, the dried paint tubes, each one a whispered promise of a world beyond the fields. As she set up a makeshift easel in the barn, sunlight streaming through the cracks in the wood, she felt a spark of defiance ignite within her. Her brush danced across the canvas, fueled by years of repressed longing. The barn, usually filled with the scent of hay and the sounds of farm animals, became her sanctuary. Her canvas a mirror reflecting the dreams she dared to dream. But her sanctuary was shattered when her mother stumbled upon her hidden world. Clara, what is this? This, this isn't what's best for you, for our family. Have responsibilities. The look on her face, a mixture of confusion and disappointment, struck Clara like a physical blow. The words came before Clara could hide her heart on her sleeve. 